Hello, I am Captain AHS. Welcome to the Energy Expo, Explorers. Today, we'll uncover the mystery of energy. What it is, where does it come from, and how it powers our world. Exactly, little champ. Everything you see here, rides, lights, and even our movements, need energy to happen. You are right sir. Can you please introduce yourself? What's your good name? And what do you do? Hi, I'm an electrical engineer here, and I deal with all technicalities here in the park. So with love, they all call me as Mr. What. Mr. What? That sounds cool. My name is Sorrow and she is my sister Mina. So Mr. What? You were saying something about energy? Energy makes things move, change and work. We can do things because of energy. With the help of energy, we can enlighten things we can jump, we move machines, ride a bike, and of course, we can play because of energy. But these all conditions are different. Is it the same type of energy involved in each different process? Nope, Mina. There are different kinds of energies particularly involved in each different condition. For example, there's light energy from the bulbs, sound energy from the speakers, and heat energy from the food stands cooking delicious snacks. Okay kids, you enjoy different rides. I'll join back in a while. Hey Sorrow, stop there. You know what? Before you slide down, you have potential energy. Potential energy? What's that? Hasib, is it another kind of energy? This is the energy you have because of your position on top of the slide. Wow, amazing! This means Sorrow does have energy. Even just standing over there? Exactly. Once you start moving, that potential energy turns into kinetic energy. The energy of motion. Wow! Now because I took a slide, that's kinetic energy in action. Right, Hasib? Right. Whether it's sliding, running, or even throwing a ball, when something moves, it has kinetic energy. to have sweet popcorns, Sorrow! Mr. What? Are you going to prepare popcorn for us? Yes, Sorrow. I can cook delicious buttery and sweet popcorn. Would you like to have some? Yes, Mr. What? But... I'm also curious about this popcorn machine. How does it work? Does it also require energy? Don't worry, Sorrow. I'll explain the science involved in popcorn making. Please come with me.
So kids, here's something interesting. This popcorn machine is a perfect example of energy transformation. Inside the machine, electrical energy is being used to heat the kernels. That electrical energy turns into heat energy, which makes the popcorn pop. Changes into another. Oops. What's that? Why does the light go out? Oh, don't worry, kids. I'll have to go. I think there's some technical issue with electrical energy supply. Electrical energy is a kind of energy that enlightens everything. From the lights in your homes to the rides at the fair, electrical energy is everywhere. It flows through wires and powers everything you see. As everything depends on electrical energy, we have to supply it safely and efficiently. So the Ferris wheel and roller coaster use electrical energy too? Yep. The motors that make them spin need electricity to work. Without electrical energy, the whole fair would be in the dark. And here's another kind of energy. Chemical energy. How can food have energy? Well, when we eat food, our bodies break it down to release chemical energy. This energy helps us grow, move, and stay warm. So when we eat, we're like machines turning food into energy? Is that what you mean? Exactly. Just like machines need fuel to work, we need food to power our bodies. It's all thanks to the chemical energy stored in the food. an energetic hospitality. We enjoyed your company a lot today. See you soon. Now it's the time for quiz. So here comes the first question, kids. Get ready. What is energy? The ability to do work or cause change. A material you can touch the weight of an object. Hurry up, kids! Your time to think about it starts now. Yes, you got it right. The ability to do work or cause change. For example, when we take a slide in a park, we have potential energy at the top, and when we move down, we have kinetic energy in action. Now it is time for the second question, kids. Are you ready? What type of energy does a moving object have? Kinetic energy. Potential energy. Heat energy. Let's think about it. Your time starts now. Great job! You got it right! Kinetic energy. Get ready for your third question. Which type of energy do we get from the sun that helps us see? Sound energy. Chemical energy. Light energy. Hurry up, kids! Your time starts now. Great job! You got it right! Light energy! Because everything would be dark without light. Keep going, kids! Very nice! I'm impressed! You are doing a great job! Here's your second last question. Which form of energy can you hear? Heat energy! 
Light energy. Sound energy. Keep going, kids. Impressive. You are doing a great job. It's sound energy. That makes everything audible. Come on. Keep going, kids. You are doing a great job. Here's your last question. What energy does a car parked at the top of a hill have? Chemical energy. Potential energy. Sound energy. Wonderful job for today. Yes. Potential energy. See you soon with the next adventure. Have you ever wondered how we can conserve energy? We'll discuss about it in our next video. Stay tuned.